So Apple this morning released the official version of iPadOS 18.4 and with this new update we got a handful of amazing features. So in this video I'm going to go ahead and run through everything you need to know. And yes, timestamps will be in the description down below for your pleasure. Let's get started. Now first thing first, let's start off with compatible devices. So long as your iPad can support iPadOS 18 in general, you will also receive this update. Doesn't matter if you have Apple Intelligence or not. So the compatible list is right there on my side. Let's go ahead and start off with the first feature and that can be located in your settings. In your main setting page, if you scroll down to notifications, you will now see a new prioritize notification section. By enabling this, you can enable the notifications you'd like to be prioritized and will always be on top and right in front. Very similar to like how it is on the iPhone, where it'll actually highlight those prioritized notifications on top, give you a much more cleaner layout. And here you can decide which one you have want to have on or have off. The second new changes and features can be located in Control Center. By bringing down Control Center, and if you long code and you add Control, and you type in Ambient, you now have ambient music and the genres that themed right there in the icon. So if you need something to fall asleep to, just add that little fall asleep note, tap on it, and it immediately starts playing smooth toning music that allows you to go to sleep. If you click on the app, you'll notice it's its own dedicated app like built into the software. It's not running Apple Music or anything. So we do have that new ability and again, all you need to do is just go into Control Center and just type in Ambient. And you have these different other styles to choose from. Well-being, Productivity, and Chill. And then if you look closely on the volume icon, if you go all the way down, it changes the volume to white. And as soon as the volume goes halfway through, it changes to blue. So it has like a cool animation. Same applies on the brightness too where the sun will actually go from white to yellow. And then I'm not entirely sure, but on the iPhone, your Wi-Fi reception, and if you have LTE, they will actually update in real time, just like it is on the iPhone now. Because on my iPhone, right now I have a low bar on my cellular, and it's only showing me one bar in the control center. The iPad should be able to correlate as well. Now in terms of the keyboard controls, the keyboard also received a couple updates, one of which is the new emojis. As now we have splash, baggy sleep face emoji, fingerprint, a leafless tree, a rooted beat, a harp, a shovel, and a new flag that got added. All right here in your emoji tab now. Now if you are subscribed to News Plus, the official News Apple app from Apple, when you first launch it, on the right corner, we now have a food category as you're about to see. So here we go. Now we actually have food recipes as an own dedicated category. And you can actually start one of these recipes right here, look for something you like. And as soon as you start following the instructions, it has like the Apple playlist type of style for like lyrics and such where you can just scroll through and just follow the ingredients in a larger screen. Another app that received an update is the Apple Sport app as now you could follow Formula One. When you go on my lead and tap edit, you'll see Formula One is now there as well. So that's something you can have activated now and running in the background as an active alert. The mail app also received an update where very similar to like iPhones on iPad OS 18.4. As the mail app is now similarly seen like your iPhone, as you have different categories you can quickly transition to, as you have these separate categories to keep everything organized now. But if you don't like this new layout, you like to reverse back, you can always just tap on these three dots and then select list view. And I'm covering this, but it did took us back to the previous design in case you were used to that. Now real quick, if you've been enjoying this video so far, if you could take two seconds to hit that like button on like, that'd be truly appreciated as that strongly supports the channel, which is why you don't see integrated brands for like a VPN and stuff taking like a minute or two off your time. I just like to give you the information right away. So big thank you to those that hit that like button on like and allow this channel to be powered by you guys, not brands. Let's carry on. And then if you have an Apple Watch, if you go into your alarms, if you enable an alarm and select that alarm, if you scroll all the way to the very bottom, you now have a new 
breakthrough silent mode setting where you can enable or disable and this if you read the description send will only play while wearing the apple watch so if you take it off it's not going to ring anymore a feature that should have been available since day one another thing that's new for the apple watch is located whenever you launch the watch app or you customize it on your watch but by selecting one of these watch faces that you have and we select color and we go all the way to the very far right and tap plus we now receive the new spring 2025 color options so we have these colors to choose from and in the near future apple will release the color coordinated apple watch exclusive summer limited edition bands to go along with these new colors that they added and these are it right here then the image playground if your ipad is equipped with with apple intelligence by quickly generating a new image there is a new theme that apple added so let's quickly create something real quick hard hat at a park it's gonna be an unusual combo but yeah we get this but when you tap done and tap edit you have a new sketch animation style you can choose from that looks really interesting so we now have a new sketch style to choose from when it comes to image playground now in the apple app store whenever you download an app or update an app you'll see if you look closely you do have the ability to finally pause your downloads like we used to like we were previously able to back in ios i believe it was ios 17 days where you can literally just pause it and then tap resume so apple grants us the ability to do that once again and then in safari by tapping on here in these corners and tap the three dots we now have a new privacy security detail where it'll give you the certificate of the website showing you that it is real or not and lastly if you use the home app HomeKit is now fully compatible to be used with your smart robot vacuum so if you have a small smart robot vacuum that supports matter or apple home kit in general you can now you can set it so there's a toggle here where you can activate your smart robot vacuum by a simple tap like you'll typically operate like your smart door lock and there we have it now you are a pro when it comes to using your ipad to its full potential on this latest version of ipad os 18.8 now real quick i know i'm going to get asked this a bunch of times a lot uh I know I'm going to get asked this a lot, but on the supported iPad side of things, uh, yes, if your iPad was able to run iPad OS 18, uh, this update will be fully compatible on your device. Nothing changed here. And I know I'm going to also get asked this as well with what kind of iPad I was using. I was using the latest generation iPad M4, which I also have a link in the description down below, including that cool wallpaper that you saw earlier. Now, in case I didn't miss something, feel free to comment down below for the rest of us to also check out. But those were the massive improvements that I noticed that I felt like everybody else should at least be aware of on the latest update of iPadOS 18.4. Now, if you wish to watch more, again, I'll have links to everything in the description. But other videos, check out this video over here where I cover all the new changes that I got added on the Apple Watch side of things. And once uploaded, here it is for the iPhone side of things. I cover everything that Apple recently added in there as well. Other than that, thank you so much for watching.